I understand our Anusha Rasta also in North Harris County for us right now. Uh, she's been monitoring the flood coverage uh, for two straight days. Anusha, what are you seeing out there? Well, we are actually in the location where that woman was found dead inside her car in a drainage ditch. And this is such an awful, awful story. A family member told me that that woman is 42 year old Terry Rodriguez. We have a photo of her that the family shared with us. Let's show you that picture right now. I'm told Terry was a mother of three children, two boys and one girl, her oldest in his 20s, her youngest 11 years old. Now, the family says that Terry was in this area visiting her twin sister and her sister's family, checking on them after she found out that this whole community had flooded and was hit pretty hard by the storms. This was Monday night. Terry came out here to check on her family members, and the family says that they insisted, they begged her to spend the night here, but she said that she was going to return home. And so she got into her vehicle. This is early this morning, 3, 4 o'clock this morning. She got into her vehicle. Somehow she ended up in a drainage ditch here, and that's where her car was found. We're going to turn the camera around so you can see it. That orange mark there on the grass, on the other side of that orange mark is a drainage ditch. A constable here with Precinct 4 told me that the water is anywhere between 10 to 15. 15 feet deep there. Terry somehow ended up inside that drainage ditch. Her small blue Mazda, we're told, was completely submerged. Now, I spoke to a gentleman here who lives in this area. He's been living here for two years. He says he was the first one to spot that vehicle and then call 911 right away. He was not sure if there was a person inside that car. He called police, and that's when he says a wrecker came out here, pulled the car out, and that's when they discovered. 42 year old Terry Rodriguez. Let's hear from that witness right now and hear what he had to say. The roof was open. You know how you pop the roof open where you can, somebody can breathe out of it? That's, what, that's why I was screaming in the roof and I was trying to see what, if somebody was in there. When they pulled out the water, you could see when she was slumped over before they, they took the seatbelt off, took the seatbelt off of her and she slumped over. That's, that was crazy. She was a young lady. She looked young. She was a little late. She was about your size. Small. Yeah. Small lady. Right. Again, that victim, 42 year old Terry Rodriguez, her family understandably extremely, extremely devastated. They did not want to be interviewed on camera. We, of course, respect that. They were very, very upset. They had just, many of the family members had just found out about this, and they told me that they remember saying goodbye to her and asking her to stay, just spend the night. One of her sons actually spent the night, uh, spent the night here and didn't want to go back home with his mom, but she wanted to return home to her husband, and this is when she somehow ended up in that drainage ditch. Now, the water levels in the streets here are still very, very high, as you can see, dark, murky water. This gray car right here uh, to my right, halfway submerged and um, abandoned at this point. A lot of the water was up at people's doorsteps, but it has since receded. And uh, the homeowner of this red brick house over here says that they hadn't seen anything like this in the 14 years that they've been living here, that they didn't even see this during Allison, they didn't see this during Ike, and so this is all very new to them. But there is a constable right there with his flashing lights. He's blocking part of the street. This is Briar Creek at Old Ranch up in this neighborhood. He's blocking that street so that people do not drive through this high, dark water uh, because you really can't tell how deep it is. It could be two feet deep, it could be three feet deep, or it could be 10 to 15 feet deep. But again, we have identified that victim. Our condolences to that family. Back to you at the studio. A tragic story, uh, well recounted by Anusha Rasta. Anusha